Nasir al-Din al-Tusi, illuminating the Islamic Golden Age with mathematics, astronomy, and philosophy. Nasir al-Din al-Tusi, a polymath of Persian origin, stands as a luminary of the Islamic Golden Age, contributing profoundly to mathematics, astronomy, philosophy, and theology. Born in Tus, Khorasan, in 1201, Al-Tusi's intellectual journey unfolded during a period marked by vibrant intellectual exploration, scientific progress, and cultural exchange. His multifaceted contributions, spanning various disciplines, have left an enduring legacy, influencing generations of scholars worldwide. Al-Tusi's intellectual odyssey commenced in Tus, where he immersed himself in the study of theology, philosophy, and the sciences. His insatiable intellectual curiosity impelled him to explore diverse disciplines, laying the groundwork for his later comprehensive contributions to knowledge. His educational pursuits eventually led him to Nishapur, a prominent intellectual center of the Islamic world during that era, where he further honed his intellectual prowess. A major cornerstone of Al-Tusi's contributions lies in the realm of mathematics, where he made groundbreaking advancements in trigonometry and algebra. His treatise Tahrir al-Majisti, Commentary on the Almagest, delved into spherical trigonometry, providing novel insights into the subject. Serving as a commentary on Ptolemy's Almagest, a foundational text in ancient astronomy, Al-Tusi's work became an indispensable reference in medieval and Renaissance Europe. In trigonometry, Al-Tusi introduced a trigonometric function equivalent to our modern sine function. His exploration of relationships between angles and spherical triangles advanced the understanding of trigonometry beyond classical roots, with lasting implications for astronomy. In algebra, Al-Tusi made notable contributions to the study of cubic equations. Introducing a novel geometric method for solving cubic equations, he departed significantly from traditional algebraic approaches of his time. This innovative geometrical method laid the groundwork for subsequent developments in solving cubic and higher degree equations. Al-Tusi's prowess extended into the realm of astronomy, where he played a pivotal role in the establishment of the renowned observatory at Maraga in present-day Iran. This observatory became a center for astronomical research and education reflecting Al-Tusi's commitment to advancing observational astronomy. His astronomical work included the development of precise astronomical instruments and the compilation of extensive observational data. One of Al-Tusi's most influential astronomical works is the Zige Ilkhani, Ilkhanic Tables, a comprehensive set of astronomical tables based on meticulous observations. Widely used in the Islamic world, these tables were later translated into Latin, influencing European astronomy during the Renaissance. Beyond his mathematical and astronomical pursuits, Al-Tusi was a highly regarded philosopher. His philosophical treatises such as Akhlaq e Nasiri, Nasirian Ethics, delved into metaphysics, ethics, and epistemology. Engaging with the ideas of ancient Greek philosophers, particularly Aristotle, Al-Tusi sought to reconcile Greek philosophy with Islamic theology, showcasing his intellectual depth and in the synthesis of different intellectual traditions. Al-Tusi's influence extended beyond academic endeavors, as he served as an advisor to rulers and played a role in diplomatic and political affairs. His ability to navigate both academic and political spheres underscored his versatility and leadership. In the realm of theology, Al-Tusi engaged in discussions about the relationship between reason and revelation. Emphasizing the compatibility between reason and faith, he sought to harmonize philosophical thought with Islamic theology, reflecting broader trends in Islamic scholarship during the medieval period. Al-Tusi's multidisciplinary approach epitomized the spirit of the Islamic Golden Age, where scholars were encouraged to explore various branches of knowledge. His work exemplified the interconnectedness of mathematics, astronomy, philosophy, and theology, creating a holistic intellectual framework. The legacy of Nasir al-Din al-Tusi endured long after his passing in 1274. His contributions became foundational elements of later scientific and mathematical developments. The Maraga Observatory, which he helped establish, continued to be a center for astronomical research for several decades after his death. 
During the Renaissance, Althusi's works were translated into Latin, contributing to the transmission of Islamic scientific knowledge to Europe. European scholars, including Nicolaus Copernicus and Johannes Kepler, were influenced by the astronomical tables and trigonometric methods developed by Althusi, playing a crucial role in shaping the scientific revolution. In modern times, Nasir al-Din al-Tusi is recognized as a key figure in the history of science and mathematics. His contributions to trigonometry, cubic equations, and observational astronomy have solidified his place as a luminary of the Islamic Golden Age. In conclusion, Nasir al-Din al-Tusi stands as a towering figure in the history of Islamic scholarship and the broader history of science. His contributions exemplify the rich intellectual milieu of the Islamic Golden Age, and his legacy endures through mathematical innovations, astronomical observations, and philosophical insights. As a polymath of exceptional breadth and depth, Nasir al-Din al-Tusi remains a beacon of intellectual curiosity and interdisciplinary inquiry, illuminating the Islamic Golden Age with his brilliance across multiple fields of knowledge.